Hey YouTube, Mike from Mass here. Mass Aquariums, just giving you the, oh, what's this, two and a half week update. Uh, just about three weeks on the 40 gallon breeder build out. I am just about finished really with fish. I have a few more fish that I would love to get for this tank. And other than that, it's pretty much done. Plants just need to grow. Uh, fish are absolutely awesome right now. Um, they're really doing great. And I do think I owe a lot to that to Dr. Tim's one and only beneficial bacteria. I know that seems like a plug, but I never really used to use it before. And now I've used it for this tank and it, the, the levels are absolutely perfect. And as you can see, like, look at this school of fish. It's just super nice, super, super cool to watch, actually. Um, really awesome. And plants are doing great. Uh, I just got recently got a pair of German Blue Rams and six Rummy Nose. I love Rummy Nose. Um, someone did mention in one of my last videos, did you ever want to get a school of rummy nose? And well, I actually had about 30 of them in my 75 gallon tank. And uh, when I went with the blood fins for this specific build out from uh, my boy D, uh, I couldn't help myself when I went to the LFS to get my pair of German blue rams. I just saw the rummy nose and I had to take them. They had six, I got all six. And next time if they go, if they have six more, I'll take six more because they're just gorgeous the way they school. Um, it's kind of cool how they do separate themselves a little bit from the blood fins. Every once in a while I'll see them all schooling together, but for the majority of the time they school by themselves. It's pretty cool. And I did get a uh, really super rare Pleco. Um, if you want to know what kind it is, I can't tell you. It's like an L something or other. You know, those are bazillion numbers. But it's uh, all black with crazy ass white stripes on it. Now it's not a zebra, but it's like super, super cool looking. Um, it's only about two inches right now. And after I acclimatize it to the tank, it uh, took off into the rock. So I probably won't see that thing for, well, ever. Until it gets big enough where it's going to come out and start sucking on the glass. Or, you know, I threw some algae wafers in, but... I'm sure the shrimp took it away. I got a mono shrimp. Those guys are crazy. They'll just they'll just pick up an algae wafer and, and, and walk it off. I do have one quarry cat that survived from the initial cycle and do kind of feel bad about that, but that's when I was not using Dr. Tim's. So I did learn my lesson there, and I hope you guys learn your lesson. Um, the German Blue Rams are doing great. As you can see, the schools are doing great. Tank looks really, really good. I still have to, to pick the pick this light up off a little it's the, the glare uh coming down on the tank from this angle especially i'm not all that happy with but when i get a few more plants in from uh pack plants at aquarium central that will fill in the back a little bit more that back left will be really really solid and once everything else starts to grow in with the with how everything's doing and i'm loving it so just a quick update, uh, you know, quick six, seven minute update. That's what you want to call it. I hope you're enjoying the way this tank is coming along. I know I am. Uh, it's probably a little bright from that light, but this is what it is. Mike from Mass. I'm out.